yes guys welcome back to the channel and this is another one here with BBA and today we are here at the Holiday Inn in Cannock as you can see it's quite a tall building I reckon that's got about at least 11 floors so how many rooms do you reckon there is to a floor and uh, yes once again these are housing uh, migrants and I've just noticed out the front of it, I don't know what this company is because I haven't Googled it. But what's the irony of that sign saying that? Look at the irony of that. Look at the irony. So yeah, um, we're going to have a look round and I'll bring this back. And uh, they've done exactly the same thing again. And they've um, papered up all the windows so that you can't see in. Paper looks a bit tattered and torn now. Um, it go all the way around I think it does it's like a little roundabout so this this hotel here is actually like a little roundabout in itself so we can walk around here this is the back of the hotel that door's not open I imagine it holds quite a few bedrooms. There's the kitchen there. There's the kitchen. So there's the main gas switch off point here. What's up, mate? How are you? Good, thank you. Um, I'm guessing you are wanting to record of course. What are your intentions, my friend, sir? My intentions? To record this building. Um, it's hoping maybe to speak to some of the people that are staying here. Um, that apart from possible. that, that's it. Pardon? That won't be possible. What won't be possible? To speak to certain people, yeah. Why? Be. Why will it not be possible? We're going to go around in circles, but I don't mind doing this. But I'll ask you, I'm going to have to ask you. You can ask me to leave, but you can't stop me from interviewing people. Like if I see someone out on that public footpath there, I'm, I'm obviously I don't want to give you my name. Don't want to give you my name. Um, Can I call you Dave? Uh, Can I call you Dave? Dave, just, Dave, just call me second. Dave if you want to call me Dave. No, you, you don't, you don't really need my name. Okay. Listen, all I'm here to do is report on a story. I'm here to report on a story, yeah. Okay. And as I say, I'm here, and you're here telling me that I can't speak to people. I'm asking you to leave. Okay, but I'm only going to go stand as far as. You're going to have to come up. You're going to have to come up the property. Off the property. You seem shaky, you seem nervous. Nervous? Yeah, you seem quite a little nervous. Nah, mate, not me. Not nervous. Okay, that's, that's not nervous. That's, 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 okay. that's, that's my perception of it. Okay. Anyway, you guys seem yeah. nervous because you've had to come out of here because that's I'm cool. recording. That's cool. But anyway, you already know the drill. We're going to ask you to leave. It is what it is. All right. But I don't have to leave. You know that, right? I have to leave. No. But I don't have to phone the police, innit? Phone the police, then? I the police. Phone the police. Phone the police. Because I don't have to leave. You don't own all of this. You don't own all of this, bro. <laughs> Whole, anyway, I'm going to get on doing what I'm doing because you're, 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 you're ruining my video. You're ruining my video right now, so I'm going to do what I'm doing. Shaky, man. So this guy thinks I'm all shaky. All shaky, shaky. Pardon? Fantastic, isn't it? I oh, know. So can I speak to these guys, yeah? Why can't I speak to them? Come on, man. We know the game. Come on, why can't I speak to them, man? What's going on, guys? You good? Brothers, do you mind going inside? Are you liking it here? Brothers, do you mind going inside? Guys, are you liking it here? No, no, Is it nice? Come on, man, they can speak, bro. It's not a conversation. It is. You know, I'm a you know journalist my, you know and I'm allowed job, to speak you know my, to these. You know my job role, isn't it? Your job role, you know your job role. Is. Do you know what your job role is? It's your security, yeah? So it's to observe and observe and report, okay, right? You tell me what it is. No, it's to observe and report, right? What's going on, buddy? You good? 
Good man. See, he doesn't mind. These people don't mind. Do you know what? I've been to a few hotels, yeah? And the only people that seem to have a problem with me speaking to these guys, right, is security. You're the only people that have a problem with it. So who's instructed you to tell people that they're not allowed to speak? That'd be interesting to know. Who's instructed you that? Pardon? No comment? Why are you recording me as well? Why are you recording me? Because I'm allowed, man. This is private land, man. Is that your phone? Is that your personal? This is my personal. Your personal phone? Okay, you know I can request a copy of that, right? I can request a copy of No, 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 no. You're working for a company right now. Under GDPR rules, mate, I can request a copy of that. That should not be on your personal phone. On your work phone, yeah, but not your personal phone. If you put me on YouTube, so I will sue you. You'll put me on... If I put you on YouTube... You'll sue me. Yeah. Oh, come on, so man. Let's not have this. Yeah. I'd love to see you sue me. I'd love to see you sue me. It's a circular conversation. Come on, man. I'd love to see you sue me. Talking nonsense, man. Talking nonsense, bro. Talking nonsense. Is it nice here, bro? Are they looking after you? Food good? No. So the food's not good. Do you know what? That's not the first person that said the food's not good at these hotels. Well, the bedroom's good, bro. The bed sleep very good. Yeah. He's just talking, man. So, bro, I, I'm not here to cause any... Uh, aggro. Aggro, yeah. I'm not here to cause any hate towards anybody. But you're here making it seem like I'm quite hostile. So these people now think, because they've had to go inside, that I'm like some hostile individual. When all I'm doing is here to report on a story, boss. That's it. That's it, man. And I know you, as a security guard that your job is to observe and report. That's it, man. Not tell people that they can't speak. My job is to do as I am told. I have a job. I know, so who's instructed you that people aren't allowed to speak? Has that come from the Home Office? No comment, innit? Oh, it's a, don't don't take this like i said yeah and as i say every time this is nothing personal between me and you bro nothing at all nothing at all so please don't take it like i'm here to make your day uh go in man go in i'm only gonna stand here and get some footage that's it man i obviously can't come inside which i know okay so if i leave the property here here i've left the property what, they own the whole thing? What, Holiday Inn do? Whole thing. I'll check that out in a minute. I'll check that out in a minute. Because that'll be, uh, well, yeah, it will say whether it's private, public. Bro, you really shouldn't be recording me on your personal phone, man. I know you find it funny, but you shouldn't. Seriously, man. But tell them they need to give you a work phone. Yeah? Because at the moment, I don't know where that's going to be put, do I? I'm not leaving, man, no. Call the police. Call the police. If you, if you think that I'm somewhere I shouldn't be, call the police. And I bet I'm pretty confident that when the police come here, they are not going to remove me. I'm pretty confident of that. As long as I just don't cause you... But you guys are coming over to me, not the other way around. If I was over there causing you guys hassle, then the police are going to turn and say, look, you've got to move on, man, because you're interfering with their day. But I'm not. I'm just taking some pictures... Well, I haven't even had a chance to do that yet. I was just about to take some of this. Your colleague come out here. Um, what's going on, buddy? You good, yeah? See? Friendly people, aren't they? I went to one in Warsaw, man, and they they started telling them that I was hostile. and that. It, was, it was an absolute joke. But anyway, bro, come on. You don't have to film me now. You can go. I don't want to film you. You don't really want to film me, do you? Bro, I'm not going to stand off there. I've done nothing wrong to be trespassed. Nothing at all. What have I done? What have I done to be trespassed? Tell me. And the only person that can trespass me from here is the person that owns the place as well. I promise you that. It's a, it's a civil matter, mate. I promise you. Okay, private land. No worries. I, I respect what you said. It's private land. On that basis, I'm going to choose to stay here. That's it, man. That's it. Honestly, just go in, do your thing, man. I don't want to waste any more of your time. You're getting wet, bro. You don't need to come back, man. I'm even going to go over there and record these businesses as well, right? Cool. So, this is madness, man. So he's told me that I'm not allowed to speak to these people. Once again. you got this guy that works for a company where they don't give him a... 
So he's having to record members of the public on his personal phone. I mean, I personally don't mind too much, but it is always worth pointing it out. Um, they're saying that they own the lot. I don't know whether they do. That's um, some, something different, so we'll stay away from there. Chase Sweets, there might be some. Um, there could be some more rooms over there, I'm not too sure. Or it could just be more conference suites. Um, but as I say, yeah, as you can say, you can clearly see that um, what they've done. Not here so much at the front, it's all still, you can see through the glass. But round the sides and round the back, they've done what we've seen at a lot of the other hotels that I've been to. Is they've, um, they've put paper up so that you can't see anything. You heard that gentleman there that I tried to speak to turn around and say that the food's not good. So he's moaning about the food again. There's someone else that's moaning about the food. Um, <laughs> what's your opinions on that alone? Let me know in the uh, comments. you got this guy acting silly, man. Um, so... Come on, come on, man, just go in. This ain't, this is boring now. How far? Yeah? Uh, uh, do you know what? I don't mind actually coming out, because you know, other people are going to have to come in and out of here at some point today, and then I'll seek that opportunity to speak to them. As I say, it's nothing to do with you, man. I, I don't, uh... Please, for one minute, don't think I'm here to cause you any hassle. Um, or anything like that. That's not the idea. What are the intentions? Yeah, just, uh... um, there's a lot of hotels up and down the country now that are all being taken up by uh, illegal migrants. Um, there's a lot coming in daily. Um, and it's just the case of reporting on what's going on. People are interested. Uh, a lot of people are getting angry about the fact. And I think, my personal opinion, what a lot of that might be down to is the fact that there's a lot being hidden like when I walk around here you've got pieces of paper all in the windows right stopping anyone from looking in looks very secretive a lot of the hotels I go to I get the same response as what you've given me today no unfortunately you can't speak to them I don't see how you can their protection, More than anything. Their protection. Yeah, their protection. so well anyway so what I think is by coming here and actually trying to get a little bit more of a detailed idea of what's going on and then putting this out I on my website and things right then what that does is that it gives people a bit more of an informative idea of what's going on, rather than people coming up with assumptions, yeah, no, and, and, and... If you truly wanted to have an informed... So, an inform I, I, did, like an I don't, mate, that's the problem, you don't. The only person I would get that from is the Home Office, and if, you think, yeah, and if, you, think the home, and if you think the Home Office are going to speak to me, they're, they're just not, mate. They're not going to speak to me. Pardon? Have you ever tried LinkedIn? Have I tried to link them? No, LinkedIn. You know the website with LinkedIn? No. I'd say... If you really want to get an informed conversation with someone that's in the know... But still, do you not think... Something. It's interesting to come to these places and see, right? Actually have a word with these people and have a conversation. I went to um, the Roman Way Hotel. Um, it's somewhere in Cannock, isn't it? I went there a few weeks ago, right? And um, two of the migrants there got speaking to them. And um, they asked me if I wanted to come in the room, have a look in the room. Actually went into the hotel, had a look in their room... Like I say, they were very friendly, man. There was no hostility. There was... Is that not a good thing? To be honest, the majority of people that you'll find that I've ever, that I've ever come across, everyone's really nice. And I'm not saying they're not. I'm not saying they're not. You know, as I say, it's just something that's going on at the minute. The likes of you, you're, you're a working man. You're working now, right? So therefore you pay taxes and things like that. You're probably... Well, you definitely are. You're in the same boat as everyone else. Your gas has probably gone up. Your electric's gone up. Everything else has gone up. Your food shopping's gone up. But at the same time, you as a taxpayer are paying for this. And for and, and, and not here, but I'm going to a lot of these hotels. Windows wide open. The heating's blasting. It's a bit of a liberty. And as I say, again, it's nothing towards the people that are staying in these hotels, as far as I'm concerned. The issues with the government um, and the people that make the decisions on who comes here, who stays and all that, right? I so. Mischanneled anger. It's not mischanneled anger. In the sense where there's, there's bigger, um, bigger geopolitical things that we problems can... going on right now. Do you not? No, I don't agree. I, I think I think um, a lot of people see this as like 
a bit of an invasion um, without a single gunshot or anything having to be fired. It's a bit of an invasion in this country. Um, you know, that they could do more to stop it. They choose not to. Would you say that's the biggest topic in terms of... Um, I would there? say when you look at the, um, the cost of living going up and you look at the amount of people that are coming into the country on a daily basis, on average, yeah, I'd say it has a big part to do with it. People are um, struggling at the moment to get um, appointments with their GP. A lot of people will struggle completely at these days to find an NHS dentist at all. Um, hospital appointments are backed up. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put that down to immigration. I'd put it, down, but I'd, surely... I'd, I'd but so, because, for example, when people come to get... When people come over immigrants, it's not everyone that's just like a, a random labourer. You're probably having doctors... Like, I read, right? You know, you've, heard, you've probably heard they're, they're planning... At some point, there's a court case still going on, but they're planning on sending some of these guys to Rwanda, right? Now, the way that setup works is, the deal is, they get sent to Rwanda, and at a later point, we will take any of their dependents. What does that mean? So, any of their dependents, say they've got any children that they've left back in a different country, yeah? They, we, as a nation, will take their dependents here for everyone that we move to Rwanda. But the true story, man. I obviously looked that up and stuff. So, like I say, there's a lot of loopholes and there's a lot of things, you know. And it, like I say, people are interested. And, and I'm sure you're not silly that if you sit, believe that if you sit there and watch your six o'clock news, that everything they're putting out there to you is the truth. Eh, well, there you are. No, don't watch the news. Who exactly? So that's all it is, man. That is it. That is my. That's my reason for being here today. This isn't the only hotel. It's not like a targeted hotel. It's one of a list that I've got up and down the country. I go to everyone, try and do it in the exact same way, where, like I say, I don't come here with any malice. If I can speak to these guys in a friendly way, and my first questions are always, are you good? Are you liking it here? Are you being treated well? And a few more. And every single one of those questions, yeah, is asking them about their well-being, not in any way, shape or form, here to spread hate, to attack these people in any way, shape or form. That's not why I'm here. But by speaking to these guys, I haven't had one yet, but if I end up speaking to one of these guys and they're maybe gonna talk a little bit of what life was like back home, and let's say it wasn't too great, yeah? Then don't you think that that being put out and somebody hearing it from their, that individual's mouths themselves, then people who might not agree might actually sit there with a bit of compassion and go, do you know what? Maybe I should have a bit of a different ideology on the way, I think. The, wouldn't it be a better approach to go to people that have already immigrated, people that have already been given... Mm. Do you know what? A lot of people I speak to, a lot of people that I speak to that if we're talking like before this recently going on, and I speak to most working migrants, they also don't agree with it. They also don't agree with it. They also don't agree. There's a lot of people that had to go through a lot of checks, rigorous checks and, and a procedure in order to come here, and some even get rejected. Yet, these guys, obviously, are coming over on boats, landing on our shores, and they're being put straight up on the taxpayers' money. There's a bit of a difference. As I say, when these people flee their countries, right, from maybe worn, torn countries, think how many countries they've gone through before reaching here that they've already reached asylum. Do you understand what I'm saying? They've already reached asylum. So, although I don't blame them, I see it as the only reason they then choose to come here by the time they get to somewhere like France is for financial gain. Now, I don't blame them because the way the system's set up here, it allows them to do that. However, that's my, that would be my argument that, hang on a minute, these aren't asylum seekers we're letting in because they, they, they seeked asylum long before they got to the UK. You know, but as soon as they get to France, they're telling me France is just as good as here. In fact, I'd probably live in, rather live in France these days than here. Um, so they've already got it okay. The reason they take that trip, the reason they're willing to pay almost a thousand pounds, some people are paying more to get on a boat. So again, these are people that are paying money to get over. They've got some kind of money. These aren't people that are the, the edge of Calais with no money. You know, these people are coming over well clothed. They're coming over with high tech phones or they're being given them off the boats, but I don't believe that's the case. So it's very hard for people to look and say, you know what? These are these are struggling people that have come here and they need a they need a place to seek asylum.
that so that's just my personal opinion some people share the same one some don't some don't i've been i've been watching some demos there was one down in dover at the weekend and it wasn't the greatest group in the world but there was there was a group there that was against people like me coming and highlighting this you know it is what it is we should leave it and you know it's everything's fine but it's not it's not fine it's going to affect us all years down the line and um it doesn't look like these boats coming in on the daily stopping anytime soon. So as I say at the moment, it's something that I particularly find interesting. I'm finding that members of the public up and down the country are very interested. That's why I'm here doing what I'm doing. Um, You've been studying journalism? Uh, I haven't actually, to be honest with you, although I'm, I'm looking at going on a um, journalism course actually. So um, it's something I wish I got into when I was younger. How old are you now? Uh, I'm 33 now. So, still young, yeah, yeah, still young, but you know, should have got into it earlier. Should have had my head screwed on, but I won't. But anyway, that, that's another, another day, different story. But come on, bro, forget, forget that. Young, is that where the instructions coming from? Is that the the, the home office? Uh, to be honest, I can't, I can't disclose anything. You can't disclose where it's coming from. I'm a security. I'm a security. Role. Can I ask who you work for? You can't tell me that. Because I know Circo, is it not Circo? It is Circo, right? I can't disclose who I work with. I'm sure you can. So, so hang on. So if I... If... I'm not going to. It's pretty much what I'm saying. Okay. That's not very professional though, right? So let's say, for instance, I wanted to make a complaint about you today. Which I'm not saying I do, by the way. But let's just say I did. How, how, how would I do that? Uh, yeah. If you really wanted to, you could... You no, but I'd go to the company, right? Surely it's not a bad thing to tell me who you work for. I don't think you work for G4S because you'd have come out more hands-on. Yeah, maybe. But you don't work for G4S because you'd have got hands-on and you didn't do that. So I'm going to say you're definitely not G4S. You tell me you're through. You want to study journalism. No, I don't really want to, but it looks like something that would... I would, I would go into university. I'd get that study. Maybe. i develop the skills. And whatever, Skills. Whatever, whatever <laughs> Oi, do you know? Did, did you know that there's nobody that gives credentials for journalism? Like genuinely, that as well. Like there's no, there's no credentials. There's no like, there's no qualification, so to speak. No, there isn't. There isn't. Like, the only way I'd get credentials, right, is if I worked for one of the big mainstream media outlets, and then that's where the credential comes from. Is the fact that you work for them. Um, apart from that, there's nobody that actually gives out journalist credentials yeah it's one, um, it's one of those things where you have to go out there and you, 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 you do yeah you do yeah, yeah yeah that's all it is so please by any stretch of the imagine as I say don't think that I come here to wind you up today or your colleague I'd have much preferred you to have just gone right until he comes in the building we'll leave him alone um, you got instructions okay simple the simple assignment is to ask someone to leave and make sure that everyone is Okay, cool. All right, mate. Well, like I say, I'm going to stick around for a little bit in the hope to poach a couple of people coming in or out. If they want to speak, I'll speak. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. And this doesn't look good. It doesn't because the minute I stand in here on a public football... So I'll go stand down there on the main road in the hope of seeing one. Are you going to come stand on the main road? No, not really. If you have the main road, I'll... All right, so I'll do that. Well, even here isn't. No, 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 no. Come on, man. Come on, you're being unfair now. You, bro, your jurisdiction is the property that they own. You, you can't stop me from speaking to these people, man. We live, do you know what else it is? Did you get free will? And these people have now come to a country where they've now got free will, and you guys are making them believe that they haven't. It's mad. It's mad. I don't understand it. I really don't. It blows my mind. It blows my mind. All right, man. Cool. Yeah. All right. Pleasure. All right. Nice to meet you anyway, mate. Yeah. Okay. So. So we'll wait here to see if we can see any any people worth um, having an interview with. Little plaza there. That's <laughs> shaky. It's bloody freezing, mate. Of course I'm bloody shaky. So. I bring this 
back. I'm just going to take some still shots, and then um, and then I'll bring it back.